Hello, my name is Tyler from Wensco, and today we're working with the Roland XC540. We're gonna go over cut calibration, so if you were using a new media, or if you're having trouble weeding your existing jobs, you can run this and make sure everything is working properly. So we'll go ahead and get started. To do a test cut, all you're gonna do is press and hold the test cut button here. We ran three test cuts here, one with 75 grams of force, one with 30, one with 125. The first thing that stands out is the one with 125 is cut way too deep. We actually cut through the backer in this media, so obviously that's way too much. You can even see the corners got nicked just from too much pressure on that cut. The 30, on the other hand, is not really enough. It barely comes up, but the square doesn't come out because it wasn't cut deep enough for it to weed easily. The last one is 75, which hopefully if we did this right, should come out with the square staying in the middle. And that's what it should look like, is if you can get the square to stay and weed out the circle, you know that your pressure is just right. This is how you'll change any settings if you needed to. So if you couldn't weed it out because there wasn't enough force, you can obviously bump it up, press enter to change it. That would give you more force. If you need to bump it down, obviously you would just do the opposite there. The other options in here are speed. If you wanted to cut a little faster, you could bump this up as well. The problem is if you bump the speed, you also need to bump up the up speed so that they match. This will give you the best cuts. The last option in this menu is offset. This is set by the blade. It's not something you should need to change on a regular basis, but if you did need to change it, it's right here. So those are all the options in the cut configuration menu. That's how you run the cut configuration on the Roland XC540. I would do this anytime you switch out the media or if you were having any trouble weeding out your jobs. If you still needed help, you can definitely call us here at Wensco and we can help you. But if you found this video helpful, make sure to like and subscribe. Let us know in the comments below what you'd like to see us do next. And if you like anything you saw in this video, you can check it out at Wensco.com. But thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next video.